Hello, I'm back with another packing video. I enjoy making these videos, but I'm afraid they're all going to be too similar, and that's going to make them terribly boring. The only thing I could think to make them different is the voiceover. But what could I talk about? Should I talk about what I'm doing every time? And maybe the voiceover takes away the relaxation aspect of these videos for some people. In YouTube videos I've done in the past, I usually just rant on about whatever existential BS is on my mind at the time, but I feel like that could be dangerous to continue that trend because I have no idea what I'm talking about. But then again, who actually does? What makes someone actually qualified to spout mumbo jumbo? I don't trust anyone who acts overly confident in their analysis about life and about others when it's pitched as the one correct reality without questioning the validity of their own thoughts. That's a good way to misjudge someone or make assumptions about a situation. I always try to preface my thoughts to myself that this is purely my perspective based on my own unique life experiences. It's hard not to project your thoughts as the reality of someone else's existence when you're not aware you're projecting. People you meet are like a mirror. You see parts of yourself reflecting back, but that's not you. Everyone is walking their own path and everyone comes to their own answers in their own way, at their own pace, in their own time. Some people will never see things the way you see them, and maybe they're not meant to. That epiphany was just for you. It can be frustrating when you feel like you understand something so clearly and the people you care deeply about haven't gotten there yet. And the realization that they may never get there can be disheartening. But remember what it took to get you where you are now. You had no black and white instructions. It was a nuanced and complicated journey. And sometimes you wanted to find the answers, and sometimes it was easier to deny them in order to survive. It's the same for them. And just because you think you know and understand something better than they do, doesn't mean they don't know and understand something better than you do. Don't immediately dismiss them for being lacking in wisdom. Everyone has something to teach you about yourself and about life. And the biggest danger is to believe that you already have all the answers you need. Never stop learning. You're not perfect. Nobody is perfect. Perfection is unobtainable. And perfection is overrated. Be messy. Be chaotic. Make mistakes. The answers and growth you need are found in that chaos. You can't be a good scientist without experimentation and questioning your results. Maybe this or that makes perfect sense. But is there more to it than that? Are you possibly misinterpreting something? Are you unsure about what the true answer is, so you're just attributing it to the closest possibility because it's easier than saying, I don't know the answer? Does it make you feel good to believe that you already know? Can you be possibly excited about realizing you were wrong? Or that there was more to the story than you originally thought? That maybe there's so much more to discover? You are the narrator of your own life. Are you changing that narrative to make it more convenient for your own ego? Are you muddying the results because it's easier to believe one reality over another? Does your chosen outcome contribute to the desired tragedy of the stories you're weaving? Does that make it easier to dismiss your own mistakes? Who are you trying to convince? Yourself or others? Don't be afraid to ask and explore other hypotheses. Be brave. I think that's better than being confident. Courage implies that you were afraid, but you did it anyways, and that's really cool. That's more interesting to me. What am I even saying? Where did this come from? Well, this is what my past voiceovers have been like. Brain poop. I like how I started this with me saying I wasn't sure if it was a good idea to go on existential rants anymore, and I've done it anyways. I'm probably making absolutely no sense. Well, do you like this, or should I just talk about what I'm packing? Let me know, seriously. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end. You can find my shop on Etsy, blah, blah, blah. Links are in the bio. Goodbye.